So here's the, the pedal arrangement with the magnetic gears, and it's three to one ratio. One turn of this makes uh, three turns of this, and this is the uh, air compressor that uh, maybe is oversized, but I hope, and it's channeled to the uh, 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 generator uh, with air going to the, uh, the blades. So I'm going to start it. Let's see if it works. I'm using my hands rather than feet because it's uh, easier here. Hey, it's not turning. Uh-oh. Well, there's air coming out of it, but not very strong. Oh, man, there's, there must be too much leaking. Uh, the blades, you know, uh, the, the tolerances are, are not uh, good. Well, well, it doesn't take much to make this turn, but it takes something, you know. It looks like a pedaled air compressor. Maybe somebody else can make it better. Won't work. Now, while I was building this, I got a suggestion from an English woman who plays organ in a church, and she suggested that you, you, that you use. Hey, it looks like ET, huh? That you like use a pedal instead of pedaling like a bicycle pedal, like uh, a bellow, right? And uh, I don't know. Let's try it. Wow, it's actually making it move, which this one didn't do. So maybe it'll work. So those of you who can make it more efficient, this is for, I don't know, water toys and, you know, like little boats that you pump up or, or backyard swimming pools or something. I don't know. I never used those. Okay, maybe, you know, this is a, just a hair dryer. Let's see if it works, right? It's turning. Four, 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 five. Five, five, one. Okay. Okay, so you see, I mean, this uh, they've got them, they plug in in your car in the cigarette lighters and so on, so you get an idea. It's got a little electric motor in there, but it takes batteries. And our ideal is no energy in and just energy out. Not these other people who say some energy in and more energy out. The free, you know, free energy people and whatnot and the over-unity people. This is the old view. You know, uh, the aliens don't mind flying saucers where they've got a little fuel or a little few wire connections to the outside, but they get more energy for levitation. No, they don't do it that way. So, while I was building this, I discovered that uh, when a fellow was on uh, the net and he criticized me, he said, why don't you have a, a magnet underneath? He said, you've got six magnets above the coils here and six below the coils, but, uh, see, there's the DC in the middle, and here are the two ACs that you saw uh, going up, which I didn't have in the last video. So, okay, I found out how to levitate the entire apparatus. I have a ring magnet on the bottom, and then you can have six or eight, more than three or four, and it spins completely, completely freely, which it doesn't when it's like the other one on, on uh, uh, ball bearings. Now, it, this is an example. When you're building an apparatus, you're going to have more stuff here, like all the coils, you know, the other magnets and so on, right? So this is about a pound. And here's about five pounds, and 10 pounds, and 20 pounds. So you can see the gap there is about enough for the coils in between at 20 pounds, which means you can put considerable amount. This is not like ball bearings. This is like the way you build it, if you have the gap too great from the uh, things, it loses power. So you have to calculate it carefully and build it carefully and there's even ways, anyway, so I thought I'd show you how it spins with the, uh, the same thing that I made the other one spin. Let's see if it works. Now 
Now this is where you want the close-up. You can see it's spinning much faster than the other one. And this is without even proper veins. This is just off of a fan, so it's at an angle, so it's only giving you, I don't know, 20% of the forward motion. So you see that this, uh, of course, there'd be more weight, and, and that's how I realized by seeing the Vought wind machines, they're using levitation mag uh, magnetic uh, uh, bearings like this, but they're making them vertical and there are giant things on the roof and so on. So having a vertical thing like this has the electric motor. It's a leftover from MagAmp Gen video. And I just wanted to show you how a compromise between horizontal and vertical uh, configurations is the way. This is a 1K design, right? And there's your uh, uh, ring magnet, and there's your initial six, and layers outward, and the vertical thing like you just saw, and the fins. And when I realized that the fins give more torque if they're extended outward, and that these have less inertia if they're contracted inward, I refined that, and I'll show you the final sketch I did just last night. You can see there that the fins are out here, and the vertical is the same, and there's a pin that holds it in place, coming from the four corners. But the nice thing about this is that you can put in three in the front. This is approximately 18 wide by 12 high. And uh, by elevating the one in the middle, the veins can go uh, uh, above, and this veins can go spinning or below. Now people ask, like, how much air do you need? You don't need much. Do you see this? This is, a, or you know, uh, the thing from the... Uh, you put this on the front of your car, going to your unit, about this big, you know, bigger, you know, as, as it slants in, and going to uh, this size, you know. So you're using about the same area you use for your turn signals. You're not using a radiator like, like uh, that you're using to all that wasted uh, resistance of uh, an ordinary car, you know. And you can have them in the rear by having uh, little air scoops coming out behind the doors, too. So you can put five or six or, you know, uh, four different 1K units like that. If the K, 1K unit was uh, between $200 and $400, you could put in five of them for a thousand dollars. So you're getting cheap, fuel-less, battery-less, uh, not quite battery-less yet, but it's coming, you know, uh, transportation. Okay. So this is how you make a 1K for fuel-less, battery-less uh, vehicles, you know, very inexpensively. But of course, if you want to use the, the, the levitation for uh, an actual uh, UFO or flying saucer, you take this out and you put in a rodent coil and you put in a flat bed of, uh, of uh, magnets for uh, maneuvering that can be moved and, uh, and you put in uh, graphene uh, superconductors and so on and so forth to flatten the field so the displacement of electrons you know, will uh, be effective in maneuvering the craft. That's it. Till next time, fellas.